I found the best picture of you on Kelly's phone. I do not like where this is going. Stop it. <laughs> it's from Eva's party. Let me post it. No! Huh? Caught you in the act? Oh. Happy day, I'm <laughs> Today we are going back to high school and getting back on Facebook. Remember when Facebook was new and it's the way we flirted and confessed Aww. love? Well, we're signing up for Facebook right now. It's 2008, Facebook is brand new. Purging relatives from social media. Who here's mom got on Facebook? Actually, probably all of you, hey? I probably would have deleted it if my parents joined it. <laughs> Saturday, April 18th, 2020. Okay. So this is like the new Facebook. Oh my God, I love this. I want to change my name to nobody on Facebook so that when I see someone post something stupid, I can like it and it says nobody likes this. Okay, so Facebook has changed over the years. For example, oh, now it's like a lot of memes. It's a lot of photos. It's not just like streams of consciousness like it used to be. Your political uncle, oh, get him away from me. I can't believe this. America's really going down the crapper. And if anyone's to blame, it's all you millennials. Students argue that eating meat should be illegal. Of course, the uncle is just having a problem with it. I'm just gonna heart it and be like, you know, you, you go girl, girl, you go girl. It's all our fault, 100%. You joined Facebook 12 years ago. We made you a little something to help you remember. From all of us at Facebook, happy nookversary. Oh no, I don't like viewing memories. I don't like going through memory lane. Oh, please, not like this. Username, oh my goodness, okay, so we're gonna be Tedas. First name, Cassie. Last name, Gloom. And then we're gonna go December. We're 19, oh, ah, close enough. Definitely looks most like me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wish we had some straight hair without those bangs, but that's fine, here we go. Natick High School, I'm single, December 20th, Yahoo. Uh-oh, somebody's messaging me. Matt Gursky, you made a profile finally. Oh, Matt Gursky, you were a creep. I just made a profile and this guy literally just added me. Ugh, oh, he's now friends with me. Oh no. Yo, Cassie. Uh, hello. I was like really edgy at the time, so I'm just gonna like, hi Matt. Am I your first friend? Looks like it. Like you can tell by looking at me, I don't know what you're doing. Like, what? yes, I can't believe you made a profile. Always in a relationship with Kelly. Oh, she is so basic. Not all who wander are lost. <laughs> uh... I can't believe you made a profile. I thought you'd never leave AIM. Yeah, well, it's dying. I had no choice. My instant messengers are dying. Thank God you joined because I need your opinion on a very important subject. Sure, what's up? That sounds kind of interesting. So I'm making a playlist for Kelly and we're arguing. Ugh, they always argue. And I honestly just need you to agree with me. You're gonna put me in the middle of your relationship drama? Is this song good? Oh boy. A global virus of catastrophic proportions has attacked the entire male population. Only two male models from Colorado survived. This is their story. I'm sorry, but I was way too hardcore in 2008 for me to like this. Poker face, kind of a banger though, you can't deny it. <gasps> this is so the time. I kissed a girl, shake it, viva la vida. Like this is, these are the songs that were popular at the time. Matt, the song's trash. Cassie, no! That's what Kelly said. I would just say it's not my style. Like, I wouldn't continue to rub it in his face, but the lyrics are just not good. The music. Well, at least you made Kelly's night, lol. She knows what's up. I'm not about to be enemies with Kelly. Oh my goodness, I feel like some foreshadowing, like I'm gonna be enemies with Kelly. I wanna be her friend, but I was too immature at the time, so I don't think I will. Time to get you some more friends. I agree, yeah. I need to add more people on here so I can talk to more people than just you. You gotta spruce up your profile a bit. Uh. If you say so. You should write your first status. I've gotta bury the fact that Matt's friends with me. Is new here, but figuring it out has the best friends you could ever ask for. That is so fake. That is so something I would post though. Goodness, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pretend I have friends even though I don't. Cassie has the best friends you could ever ask for. <laughs> You're talking about me, right? Even though I am kind of talking about him, I'm just gonna, sure. <laughs> okay, now for some pictures. I don't have a webcam, bro. We used to take all of our pictures with webcams and just like, I think my girlfriend has some she can tag you in. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, of course I wanna be friends with Kelly, but come on, can we not tag me in photos? You can always count on her to have photos. She's always taking pictures. That, and I'm super photogenic. <gasps> Stop it. Well, why would she, I didn't even know she was taking this picture. Holy crap, check out that group photo from last summer. That must've been at my birthday party or something. It's just crazy to see everyone together like that. That definitely wouldn't happen now, hey? Why wouldn't we all be together now? I don't know, it's just the way things are now. Emily and Evelyn not talking to each other, and everyone has like their new group of friends nowadays. What can you do? Let's 
just what happened senior year. Maybe, but that sucks. It used to be so much simpler. Now there's all this drama. Like, we can watch from afar. Just enjoy the show and not get involved. Have you made your big important decision yet? Did you really forget? Refresh my memory. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't remember everything, Matt. Whose end of summer party we go to tonight? It's up to you. This is gonna be so fun. We're having grad week. Are we going to Emily's or Evelyn's? Why are the two enemies throwing parties on the same night? Why is it up to me? I can't choose. I don't wanna be part of the drama. Well, me and Kelly don't care, so we pawned it off on you. Can you help me choose at least? I just got Facebook, so it's not my fault I wasn't invited to the event pages on Facebook. Sorry, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I gotta go because Kelly will be here soon, but let me know what you choose. This is so not fair. I don't even know what each party is. I don't even know what the dress code is for each. Just message Eva and M. They'll be excited to see you on Facebook finally. Be cool, and I'm sure they'll invite you. I really don't know about this. I'm the girl who like plays StarCraft and is really quiet and weird and really likes boys, but it's really awkward around girls. Mm -hmm. You know, one of those snowflakes that nobody likes? Matt Gursky wrote on my wall? Oh my goodness, Matt. Shoot, I almost forgot to post on your wall. Psst, to anyone reading this, you should be friends with Cassie. They're way cooler than you think. No, really. Oh, Matt, that is so cute. Oh my god, Matt, you're such a loser. He's actually sweet. I'm too tied up and acting like I'm cool. Emily Singer. Hopefully Emily doesn't invite me first, because then if Eva invites me, oh gosh, it's gonna be so awkward. Oh no! Evelyn! Is a trash panda disguised as a teenage girl? Oh, Evelyn. Oh, you got some edgy pictures. Oh, it's Emily. Hey, girl. How are you? Oh no, Evelyn's trying to talk to me too. Oh my god, Cassie! Evelyn. Is this real life? Yeah, it's real life, stupid. I thought you'd never join. Oh, I'm so unpredictable. You know me, you just can't keep up. I'm a hard act to follow. We're talking on Facebook now? I guess I can just delete my AIM account. Right in the trash. We're, we're sticking with the times, for sure. What do you think of Facebook so far? There's a lot going on here. Yeah, there is a lot going on here. I still miss away messages, but I'll get over it. If these guys both invite me to their parties at the same time, I'm gonna puke. So I'm grounded. Why are you grounded, Evelyn? Wait, aren't you supposed to have a party tonight? I wanted to sneak out last night and I had nowhere to go. Well, this town is lame. We do live in a small town. There's nothing to do here. Do you ever sneak out? Um, I don't really need to. My parents sleep like rocks. What are you up to? Well, honestly, um, I'm creeping on your profile right now. Don't look, I just made it. All I have is Matt writing on my wall. Is your status sarcastic? Maybe a little, I mean, I, if someone's asking me at this age if I'm being sarcastic, I have to say a little bit. Well, I just posted on your wall. Oh gosh, what do you mean? Oh, what did you post? Dear Cassie Gloom, you're hereby invited to get wrecked in Mario Kart. Oh, and there's Evelyn. Oh no, everyone better back up. Cassie just joined. Guess Facebook is officially dead. Okay, I'm ignoring that. And I'm replying to Emily. You're going down. Or no, I've been training for this. This is 100% what I would say. Let me guess. Matt did the whole help you with your profile thing. Is it that obvious? <laughs> I just posted on your wall. That was uncalled for, Evelyn. Oh, screw you. You know I'm stoked you joined. You're embarrassing me in front of everybody, so I'm mad at you. Matt offered his help when I first signed up too. Well, I think it helped. Honestly though, your profile's still pretty bare bones. I guess I'll just have to creep you the old fashioned way. And what's that? You gonna hide in my bushes, look through my window? Actually, when I was in high school, a guy did that to me. He like climbed the backstop and looked in my window. Oh man, have you seen the ads on the side for the new movie, The Happening? I kind of want to see it like really bad. Trust me, you don't. I'm gonna get to know you by asking you questions, duh. So, hey Cassie, do you like books? I love books. I don't love, love books, but I pretended that I did. Do you like read a lot? Um, when I was younger, I did. I'm gonna be a little honest. When I was younger, I did, but life is so hectic now, so. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I guess we're both nerds. <laughs> I guess so. How about music? Are you more into like punk or hip hop? Um, I'm into punk, definitely more than hip hop. At this stage of my life, punk and metal and screamo. Heck yes, Cassie, I love punk too. I drove like two hours to see Against Me live this summer. Ooh, did you mosh? Okay, what about music? Oh no, they're both asking me the same question. I love music. <laughs> no, like what kind of music? Do you ever listen to electronic or indie stuff? Just starting to get into indie, not quite, but I'm just like, I'm dipping my toes in. Hey, same here. Heck yeah. How can you stand still during this set list? Have you heard of them before? Of course I have. Stupid. Got the exclamation point at the end. Same here. I still remember randomly grabbing Death Cab's debut album at a CD store in like 2000. Have you heard of their new album, Narrow Stairs? I haven't had the chance. What's your favorite song of theirs? Baby, I'm an anarchist. Yo. Let's fix that right now. This is my favorite track on it. Oh my god. Okay. Well, maybe she'll convince me. No. 
sorry, Emily. Let's look at Evelyn's choice. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry. This is not heavy. Where's the pit at? Listening to new music is like one of my favorite things to do. This is like a, the music is my religion age. Like this is all we ever did. All we ever talked about is music. Have you looked at your class schedule yet? Oh, they're out now? Oh, yo, uh, I meant to ask you and don't be mad at, but I'm about to bring up school. Uh, I can't believe you. They're online this year. Math, English, free period. Ooh, I got a lot of spares. I see it. What elective are you taking this year? Gym. Here's mine. Do we have any classes together? I mean, no, I don't think so. I'm not seeing any Emily. I don't know you could do gym. It's just an easy A. What? No, let me check. Oh, you're right. Not even any free periods. We could just dish together. You got a bright future on ESB and the Ocho. Yeah, that's my plan. What are you taking? Well, these guys are so interested in me. As an adult, I'm not used to people taking this much interest in me because nobody cares about me. I mean, we gotta, they forced our hand. I'm sure they'll understand. Can I see your schedule, Evelyn? Okay, let's see. English, math. Oh, okay, well. I have nothing together with either of them. I'm looking at some colleges that are far away. I'm so down to get away from this town. And leave me? I mean, I'm gonna leave too, but really, I wanted to leave first. <sighs> they wanted me to apply to college and pick somewhere close. All I know is that I want something engineering. Have you thought about yours at all? I have some places in mind. I don't know what I wanna do, but I know where I wanna go. Who said I'm not kidnapping you? How about you? Where do you wanna go for school? Far, far away. What are you thinking for your major? I'm undecided. It's not even funny. Oh my God, if we ended up at the same college, I mean, if we're both trying to get far away, it could be like anywhere in the world, but yeah. We could be study buddies. <laughs> Don't worry, you have time to decide. It doesn't feel like it. I know you think a year is far away, but I'm freaking out. Yo, my mom just left. What does that mean? Oh crap, I lost track of time, I gotta go. Oh no, what'd you do? Wait, what's happening with both of you guys? It means it's time to set up for the party. It's gonna be dope. And you're pretty okay, you should come. Oh, right, I never invited you to my party. Oh, why? Oh, I should say I'm busy. Oh, uh, I forgot. I hate when friends make you choose. <laughs> so it's a chill end of summer party thing. I'd love it if you showed up. So maybe I can like go to both, find a cute guy that can drive. I'll invite you to the event page. I gotta go, deuces. Shoot, the Facebook event has all the info. I gotta run, see you later. Oh no, I got invited to both of them. This is a mess. I'm gonna have to give that a cute maybe. And then I'm gonna go on Evelyn's and also give it a cute maybe. Okay, so this is Evelyn's. The summer is over, so let's party. Beer pong, dancing, and good music. Sleep on the floor if you want. Ooh, that sounds kind of good. And Evelyn's music taste is a little closer to mine. Thanks for thinking of me. I'll try to stop by. Can I not comment on the other one? Uh-oh. <laughs> so you said maybe to both Emily and Evelyn? Which one are we gonna go to? Oh, Matt. Oh no, I don't know. I guess Evelyn. Oh, Emily's having a barbecue. No thanks, we're partying. We're going to Evelyn's, I think. Technically, Evelyn invited me first. Sounds good, I love a good house party. Let's dance the night away. Unread posts. Matt Gursky plans to attend, it's all, oh no. Oh no, Emily's gonna feel like nobody likes her. Heck yeah, I knew I could count on you to decide. Should me and Kelly pick you up or do you wanna meet us there? Um, pick me up, please. What do you want me to do, walk? <laughs> okay. Travis, I'll be there. Oh, hi Travis. But the battle raged on, oh Travis. Oh, he likes against me. Oh, hi, Travis. It's complicated relationship. What do you mean, Travis? Oh, Trav's going too? Is that a problem? I just hope he doesn't ruin the vibe. That is true. He is like pretty emo and like edgy and like, I don't know. They didn't break up on good terms. <gasps> who broke up with who? Oh, and he changed it to, it's complicated. That means he didn't get over it. Evelyn did, the kid's a tool. Oh, wait, Travis is going to Evelyn's party. Okay, I can't be interested in Travis anymore because that's Evelyn's man. And why would he go to Evelyn's party? Why even invite him? Why is he coming? I don't know. It'll probably be fine. See you in a bit. Peace. Okay, I'm nervous. We gotta end this chapter now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's too much stuff going. There's too much. My social life is so hard to maintain with Facebook when everybody can see what you do. Like Emily's like, Cassie, if you weren't planning on coming, you could have just said so. I didn't know. I gave you, I put a maybe on your page, girl. Oh no. And now Evelyn likes me better. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh I hate. I hate this. A lot of times when there's a giant change in the social dynamic, like there was when we went from no Facebook to Facebook, big changes like that often aren't better or worse. They're just different. But I will say that ignorance is bliss in that, for example, if Emily's throwing a party and Emily doesn't know that I didn't show up until way later, then, then that hits different than her, the, the night of seeing these photos come through. Like that hurts. That hurts because then you get the FOMO. So Emily wasn't able to like fully focus on the people who did show up for her because she saw all the people who didn't. And that sucks. 
October 18th, 2008. <gasps> There's so many pictures that I'm tagged in. Kelly cannot stop taking pictures to save her life. Evelyn and Emily are talking to each other. Evelyn wrote on Emily's wall, just a little insight to make this right. It's too late to fight. Emily Singer writes, it ends tonight. It ends tonight. And then there's Matt. Psst, Halloween party at my place. Don't forget your costume. Wait, what are these two beefing about? <gasps> this sounds like very serious. Cassie, it's October. Are you ready for spoopy Moby? Are you ready for a spoopy movie? Or are you too scared? I think I might be too scared, Evelyn. I'm so scared, but let's do it. Oh, I shouldn't have said let's do it. What if Emily wants to hang out with me? It'll probably mess me up for a few days, and by days I mean weeks, but let's do it anyway. I'm sorry, em Emily, I we can't make plans. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Ma. What up? Just chilling. You? Was hanging with Kelly, but she left. Oh, how is she? Oh, she's good. She got a new camera for her birthday. Oh, great. Now she's gonna just completely document everything. I'm never gonna be... Everything I do is always gonna be on the internet. We walked around. She took so many pictures. Well, you can always count on her doing that, can't you? <laughs> oh, I know. I think she's stressed about her portfolio and photo school. Oh, I didn't know she applied for photography school. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, in Boston, but she doesn't think she'll get in. Oh, she'll get in for sure. She like she lives with a camera in her hand. That's what I keep saying. But then she's just like, Matt, you don't know anything about photography. Admittedly, neither do I. But you know, passion's passion, and she's a smart girl. What if her stuff is like actually garbage, and we're just like, no, this is great. Don't say that. Oh, yo, I almost forgot. I found the best picture of you on Kelly's phone. I do not like where this is going. Stop it. <laughs> it's from Eva's party. Let me post it. No. Oh, huh? Caught you in the act? Oh, we totally caught you in the act. The act of what? It looks like somebody just had their arm around me. Oh, don't play dumb. I saw you laying the charm on Evelyn. I play, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Well, whatever you were doing, it worked. Just look who Evelyn has her arm around. It was a good night. You know how people get. We got a little cozy, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, and now you're going to a horror movie together? Mind your business. Oh my, I hate social media. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it. Especially in a small town, it's so bad. Uh, yo, I got it. I'll be your wingman at my Halloween party. I don't need a wingman. No, thank you. No offense, but no thanks. Eva's like a great catch. Yeah, I already know that. Plus, she's like super hot. She actually is when you think about it. Oh, speaking of her, she's online. Oh boy. I'll let you focus. All right, bye. Get get out of my face, Matt. Oh, I was like having fun and like vibing and nothing was getting serious, but now he brought it up and now it's in the forefront of my mind. And now I'm gonna like think of Evelyn in this way every time I talk to her. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Eva, how are you? How are you? You saved me from Matt posting pictures of me without my permission. Well, now I'm laughing about your pain. Oh, you posted back on my wall? Oh, you're so observant. Spooky movies. Yes, it'll mess me up for a few days too, don't worry. Where are the insomnia club? Hopefully you wanna, you know, talk to me on the phone all night while I fall asleep. So I'll meet you at the theater tomorrow night? Sounds like a plan. What about Emily? What's going on? She's typing and erasing a lot. Hey, Matt posted a picture of us. You look pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, shush, it's from my party. That was such a good night. Yeah, the hangover was unreal. I still have a headache to this day. Dancing with you was so fun. I am good at dancing. Emily wrote on my wall, oh, what does she want? Hey, I know you like new indie stuff. I just updated my playlist if you wanted to check it out. That's sweet, Emily, I'm gonna post back. I'm gonna listen right now. Wait, I just read Matt's caption. What does he mean they caught you? Um, I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, wait, I get it. I kind of noticed you were up to something too. Uh-oh, I think I'm getting caught red-handed here. Oh, come on. You were running interference between me and Trav like a pro. Thank you for doing that. I forgot that Evelyn and Travis were dating. And I'm kind of like swooping in on Travis's ground. That's what friends are for. I wanted to say I don't like him, but whatever. I really didn't want him to come. Why'd you invite him then? He found out about it and like guilted me into coming. He sounds like a douche, to be honest with you. I just wish he'd leave me alone. Sorry, I didn't mean to get into all this. No, no problem at all. Don't be sorry, Evelyn. I like the tea. Just thanks for being there for me. Unread posts on my newsfeed. Oh, it's Kelly's birthday? Oh, okay, I'm gonna give her these undies. All I could afford, I'm gonna make a little joke, a little cheeky joke, perfect. I'm like becoming a pro at this. Oh, yo, I've been meaning to ask you. Have you heard the new Census Fail album? Oh, no, I don't think so. 
I added them to my punk playlist. It's not really punk, is it? It says this feel punk. Okay, so during this time I liked Screamo and I felt like this was very like pop. And a lot of people listen to this kind of stuff thinking that it was like really heavy and it's just not. Not that not heavy music is bad, but if you're gonna do something, do it. Kelly wrote on Emily's wall. Hey Emily, I hope you can come to Matt's party. It should be fun, tons of people will be there. Uh oh, Emily's gonna see me and Evelyn at the party. Have you picked out your costume for Matt's thing yet? I haven't thought about it. I already picked mine out last shift if you saw. Oh, it was the corpse bride thing, right? Yeah, just your classic zombie in love. But I was gonna ask if you wanted to dress up together. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't, okay, I don't wanna make Emily too mad. Let's not act like we're dating. Think about it, you'd be uh, another zombie corpse thing, I guess? What would you suggest? Personally, I think you'd look great as an undead zombie groom. It looks like we're doing it. You're the professional. I'm so excited for Matt's party now! I don't like this stuff and I feel like, like you know how people say like the younger generation's a lot more anxious? Like everyone like perpetually gets more and more anxious. Like I really feel that because there's just, there's so much to think about right now. It feels like there's eyes on me everywhere. Like it's, it's so much to handle. Oh man, so I'm doing one of those note survey things and this memory it's making me relive is so embarrassing. I'm sure it's not that bad, but what is it? I need to know. I don't get how everybody else is just having fun. Everyone else like doesn't care that everybody's watching them. And like, it makes me nervous. I don't know, Cassie. You might think less of me if I told you. I'm gonna say that wouldn't happen. Tell me the thing. I don't know why, but this one memory from middle school stuck out to me for some reason. It was like I was having a baby's first existential crisis or something. I feel like adults are just big kids is something that I would say. No, exactly like that, but just unironically. And oh God, are, are the details of that night like peak teenage angst. All right, this is gonna be good. Tell me, what's going on? It was like past midnight and I snuck out onto my roof with my iPod. I was listening to music and looking at the sky. What's wrong with that? Listening to music on the roof? That's kind of hot. Oh, shush you, I was having a moment. The worst part is now anytime I hear a certain song, I get super emotional. Okay, this is not embarrassing. Don't leave me hanging. Give me the deets. Uh, this can't be the whole story. It was a fall out boy. Oh, you poor, poor child. Oh, jeez. Rip me. Well, thanks for talking with me. I like your rants. I wanna like connect a little bit more. Wait, Emily wrote on Evelyn's wall. This flood is slowly rising up, swallowing the ground beneath my feet. Tell me how anybody thinks under this condition, so. What is wrong with Emily? You know, you're a good person. I don't care what everyone else says. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. People say things, I'm already paranoid, I'm already anxious, I already don't like being on Facebook in the first place. At least on AOL Instant Messenger, like we all had our own conversations and other people couldn't see it. Like everybody can see what everybody else is doing right now and it's a bit much for me. Evelyn, change the subject! Oh my goodness, you should do the survey too. It says at the bottom if I tag you and you don't do it, you'll get seven years bad luck. I'm not superstitious. All right, bye, Evelyn. Hey, no buys, never buys. I have a pet peeve with those. Plus, I'm kind of hoping you stick around for a while. Okay, oh, and she logged off. What do people call you? No cool nicknames. I guess I'm filling out my profile now. The last person who wrote on your wall, what's their name rhyme with? Oh, Emily Singer, oh, I was supposed to rhyme that. Uh, okay, well, that's cute, that's charming, I'd do that. Are you and that person friends, acquaintances, or something else? Oh no, why is it talking about me and Emily? We're friends. What's best, having good friends, a best friend, or a boyfriend? Ooh, a significant other, I'd say. I was the romantic back in these days. The person you last messaged, first two letters of their name. I can't believe you'd ask me that. I'm much cooler, but it's fine. Do you ever say the F word? Oh, good heavens, no. Do you have a crush on anyone mentioned this note? I plead the fifth. Saturday, October 18th, 2008. Oh, it's Emily. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Em. I feel like I've been neglecting you. What are you up to? Uh, internet -ing. You know, same old, same old. So did you have a chance to listen to that playlist I sent over? Yeah, I did. It was wonderful. I actually didn't listen to it, but whatever. I just need to make her feel special. Cool, cool. What was your favorite song? I need to look at my wall. Ah. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're all on there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say the kooks. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that one a lot too. Cool, thanks for checking it out. Yeah, psh, of course, duh. Emily plans to attend Matt's party. Oh, hey, I'm in your note. Oh no, she saw the note. Oh, uh, do you like my name rhyme? <laughs> Is it weird that for a second I thought you were gonna say we weren't friends? Well, why would I say that? We are friends. Oh, she's typing deleting a lot. Are, are you okay? You've just been different lately. Me? I've been different lately? So have you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a senior, I'm super defensive. I don't know, maybe I have been. I just feel like lately you've been super distant. I've just been busy, that's all. You can hit me up anytime. This is the problem with her being able to see what I do all the time. Uh, not lately, just like you didn't come to my summer party thing. You said maybe to both me and Evelyn, but I saw the pictures and I know you just went to hers. Oh, I could, I, I could blame Matt and say it's Matt's choice. I, I cannot. I cannot do that because it'll get back. 
If I was a senior though, I feel like I would lie. I feel like I would take this because it's the easy out right now, even though it's not a good, even though it could bite me in the butt. Oh, I'm gonna take the piece of crap route. Ah, I hate it, I hate it. Honestly, it was Matt's choice where we went. It's not true. Oh, she's typing and deleting. Whatever, it just sucked and like, since then we've talked less and less. I'm always here to talk. It's not, it's not intentional, it is not intentional. Oh, this is so stressful. Oh! No human being should have to go through this! I know you and Evelyn are close now. We can still be close, me and you. I'm just saying that it makes sense for you to be distant, I guess. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm saying. Will you be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. This is what a girl says when she's not fine. That's not what I wanted to talk about anyways. I'm sorry if I derail things. Oh my goodness, this is a mess! My fault. So, um, have you noticed Matt acting weird lately? What's wrong with Matt? I don't know, what do you mean? He's always weird, isn't he? I don't know what's going on, but he like came on to me yesterday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Matt is with Kelly. Matt loves Kelly. Kelly posts so many pictures of Matt. Uh, too many times before she captions it? I've been down this road too many times before. <gasps> Does Kelly know? Wait, like, like physically? He can't, like, wait, like, he tried to, like, what, he tried to, like, no, no, he was just being flirty over Facebook chat. Telling me stuff like, if only he was single, ugh. That is such a stupid idiot guy thing to say. Oh my goodness, I, and he wasn't joking, was he, like, maybe he was joking. Are you positive he wasn't joking? I, I feel like I'm kind of blaming her though. Pretty positive. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Oh goodness. Oh geez. Oh gosh. Oh, is there a way I can take it back? I just wanted to warn you because like, I see the way he talks to Evelyn too. Wait a minute. Matt literally said to me like, oh, you're hitting, I can be your wingman. She's super hot. She's attractive. <gasps> I've noticed that too. Wait, Matt, his eyes are bigger than his heart. Please don't tell him I said anything. I won't, Emily. He's dumb, but like, he's still my friend. Well, thanks for telling me. No promises. <laughs> I guess I should probably go. You don't have to? Come on, just stay. It's okay, bye. No, Emily, ah! Thanks for the birthday wishes, especially you, baby. Oh, Matt, you disgusting ass! Guess who's back, 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 back again. <laughs> Evelyn, stay away from Matt. <laughs> no, sorry, just me. Well, long time no see, Evelyn. It's been what, five, 10 whole minutes? Oh crap, your notes. Yeah, the questions took me a while. I hope, hopefully Evelyn doesn't get jealous that I have Emily in there. Evelyn wrote on Emily's wall, this night's a perfect shade of dark blue, dark blue. Have you ever been alone in a crowded room? What are these two doing with each other? Did you read mine too? Uh, more skimmed than read to be honest with you, Evelyn. I can't, I can't say I read it. I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. Did you learn anything interesting about me? Um, you go by Trash Panda? I read the very first sentence and then I kind of gave up. Well, duh, how did you not know that? And you have a crush on someone? Well, shh, that's what we mean the notes. I can keep a secret if you want to tell me. You have to tell me, you tell me right now. I'm gonna force it out of you. That's not, a, it's don't, don't you lol me. I just finished reading your answers. Okay, this is ridiculous because she's changing the subject. Well, I read yours and you pled the fifth about your crush. Who could it be? Ooh, I'm gonna be a little more playful than you are. Hmm, someone in this note, I guess. I'm learning a lot here. I bet you are. I'm really throwing it all out there. I'm throwing my balls on the table right now. I finally know the real you. Kelly wrote on Matt's wall. Matt, remember our costume idea? Don't forget your half. I look silly dressed up alone. Sweet, sweet, stupid thing. Matt's cheating on you. Whoa, you chose a relationship over good friends? Significant others are best friends. I'm a romantic. I know it sounds crappy to say, but I was just being honest. That can be such a slippery slope though. Friends are there for you no matter what. Partners aren't. I mean, it depends, it depends on the partner. If they're crappy, then yeah, but I have good taste. AKA you. Plus, what's that famous intellectual saying? Bros before hoes? Would you think less of me if I told you I live by that motto? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Well, I lost my best friend once to relationship drama and that is not happening again. Are we talking about Emily? Yeah, and how I'm a cliche idiot. All of this happened because of Travis? Did they both like Travis and then Travis went for Evelyn? I don't mind like talking about it with you because we're close or whatever, but first, can I ask you something? In your note, you said you and Emily were friends. Did you mean that? I did just lie to her 10 seconds ago, but I did mean that. Why am I downplaying it? We talk sometimes, I guess. I'm such a little ugh. I just don't want anything I say like getting back to her. Can I trust you with that? I'll do my best. I have to be at least honest about that because I have lied too much today. I don't really know where to begin. What happened between you and Emily? 
Did this all start with Travis? Yes and no, me and Emily were kind of going different ways already. But it was minor stuff, like me smoking or her not sneaking out. You were growing up and she wasn't? No, she was, just in a different direction. It just created some distance between us, you know? Well, it sounds like high school, which is 100% something I would have said in high school. Like, I thought I was so above being in high school when I was in high school. <laughs> and then I met Trav, and he was older and mature. All the things I thought I wanted, I was so stupid. We all make mistakes. These are growing pains. So we started dating, and at first it was really good. He was nice and supportive, and Emily even gave her approval. I didn't expect that Emily actually liked it, but that's cool. Honestly, same, but then things changed with Travis. We started fighting a lot, and he, and he was always so disapproving of what I did or said, so I tried to, like, fix things and change myself for him. Oh no, he was cool at first, and then he became possessive. Oh my goodness, this is the oldest story in the book, and because, you know what, it's always the older guy that dates the high school girl, always! That's not healthy. I hate guys like this that like seem cool and then like suddenly they're like, wait, what did you, don't do that. Don't talk to her. It wasn't, but you know what the most messed up thing was? He made it feel normal. Like that's just what relationships are. I'm sorry, but I'm going full girlfriend right now. He's a garbage human. You deserve so much better. Um, this is not normal. And I'm so glad that you realize now that that's not normal. I always had to be careful of what I did, what I wore, what I said. Ooh, it makes me so mad at myself. It's not your fault. Your problem is just that you gave him the benefit of the doubt because you're a nice person. So like you could say that it's your fault, but it's only a naivety thing and not like an actual your rational fault thing. And then when Travis told me he didn't like Emily, that she was a bad influence, I just stopped talking to her, just like that. Travis made you cut out Emily. Oh my goodness, he would. You just stopped talking? Oh no, he manipulative and he made her- he wanted to isolate her because that's what guys like this do. Yep, I even blocked her number. I was awful to her. Emily! I think she knew it was Travis and not you. And I think you guys should make up. But it wasn't him. It was me. I did it. That's not true! I broke up with Trav like soon after, but me and Emily still aren't talking. Then swallow your pride. Reach out to her. If you need to take time to heal, do that, but reach out to her eventually. Like, I'm sure you've seen our wall posts. Oh, pff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've seen your posts. You guys are still posting on each other's walls and it's, it's really emo. We're just posting back and forth lyrics. And that's what's been going on for months. Well, it shows you both care. Yeah, I guess so. The cool thing about Emily is I feel like she does know it was Travis. Like, I feel like she is super mature. I feel awful and guilty for everything. But the stress of trying to be whatever this is with her is kind of a lot. She probably feels the same. I just don't know what to do. Emily's just hurt. I'm taking Emily's side, I'm sorry. I think Emily's just hurt from you abandoning her. That's all. Take all the time you need to heal and then reach out to her. If I could go back and change things, I would, but I can't. We've crossed a line and things are just different now and they're never gonna be the same again. I feel horrible about it, but I have to move forward. You can't escape your past, Evelyn. Man, this reminds me so much of something that happened in high school. It's childish, but I just want my best friend back. I don't know, what should I do? In high school, there were these two girls that had like an epic falling out. And I remember asking one of them, the one who was mad at the other one and ousted the other one. I was like, are you guys ever going to be friends again? And she was like, I can't. She crossed a line and it's never, even if we became friends, it's never going to be the same again. And I was like, Oh, I think you should get some closure. I think you should talk to her. You might not be able to get her back, but you can get closure. Just talk to her. Just let her know that you're sorry. I guess that's true. Okay, I'll meet up with her and talk. Screw the wall posts. Get out there in the real world. Talk to her to her face. Look her in the eyes. Evelyn wrote on Emily's wall. Hey, Emily, do you have time to like talk after school sometime this week? Not gonna lie, it really sucked not having like best friend this year, but we're really close now, so it may have been worth it. Oh, shut your face. Plus, you're kind of amazing to talk to about stuff like this. Oh, I know. I'm always saying the wrong thing, but I always think I'm right. It's beautiful. That's why you should always get a second opinion, not just me. Oh, I'm so sorry about what happened to you, Evelyn. I'm sorry if I, like, ruin your night. She was with a guy who treated her really bad and make her act not herself. But she knows that now. So maybe she can, like, try to fix it and go back to where she was. But for real, thanks for listening. It means a lot. I'm always here. Oh, okay. Really important question time. Oh, my goodness. What? What spoopy movie are we gonna watch tomorrow? I don't know, just like pick the scariest one. That'll get your mind off of things. Me crapping my pants. Uh, how about quarantine? You better be prepared to hear me scream. You better prepare to hear me scream. What should we do after the movie? Drive around maybe? Cruise it? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh man, I'm so excited. It'll be fun. I, uh, I really like you. Huh? Wait, Matt's writing on Evelyn's wall. Yo, Eva, you got time tomorrow afternoon? I need your help. Meet at the mall? So e Evelyn's gonna meet Matt at the mall before she meets me. And Emily told me to be wary of Matt. You're not so bad. I promised Emily that I wouldn't tell 
Evelyn about what Matt's problem is. You got me smiling like an idiot over here. I can either say I like you more than friends, similar predicament, or I'm glad. I'm just gonna say I'm glad. I don't want to put pressure on you. You just got out of a relationship. Well, you didn't just get out of a relationship, but I'm gonna wait till you come on to me. So is tomorrow like, so tomorrow, I don't know, like something? Oh no. Oh, oh, so Evelyn's straight up coming on to me. Okay, you tell me. You pull the trigger, girl. I don't know. I know what it could be. What are you saying? I feel like a, I feel like the biggest like spineless wimp right now. I guess I'll just put myself out there. Um, she's gonna do it! Cassie, I, I like you. Like, way more than a friend. And I like you too, Evelyn. If Matt does anything to you, I'm going to kill him. Do you wanna like, like date and be together? Obviously I do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I know, me too. I may have just screamed IRL. Is that good? Can we talk about Matt, please? So I guess, uh, <clears throat> this makes me your girlfriend, huh? My girlfriend. Wow, that's crazy. It's about time. I've only had, I've only had a crush on you for like a few months. I had no idea. At the beginning of this conversation, you literally said you're not gonna put relationship above friends. <laughs> oh no. Should we make this like Facebook official? I ah, can't dating just be a thing between the two of us. <laughs> Oh God, why is it everybody's business that we're together? If I'm loyal, right? Like we, I should be okay with us broadcasting our relationship, but it's so new and it's nobody else's business. And like, I get the whole, like, I want everybody to see that we're together so she can't cheat on me. But I, I if she's gonna cheat on me, she's gonna cheat on me and I don't care. Like, oh God, I mean, I do care, but like, I don't like announcing. Oh God, there's just so much to think about now in this social sphere. I'm just gonna say what do you mean so I can draw it out. Please don't do this to me. I mean like update our relationship status. You choose. Please say no, not yet. Dang it! I say yeah, why not? Evelyn sent you a relationship request. This is not romantic! Evelyn is now in a relationship with Cassie Gloom. Facebook official, I hope you're happy. I hope it means a lot to you. It's great. Evelyn status it used to say is and you just write something that didn't make sense in context with it so it's like is out of eight billion people you i know what your status means evelyn <laughs> i just hope it doesn't upset emily i hope that me and emily can still be friends it's not that i think that emily is more important than our relationship but like our relationship i just don't think it's everybody's business right now <gasps> evelyn sorry matt cat Sorry, Matt, can't hang tomorrow. I already got some plans. <gasps> Maybe if we didn't make it official, she wouldn't have done this. What would have happened if she went and hung out with Matt? Thank you for canceling on Matt for me. Oh crap, my mom just walked into the room. She wants to use the computer. Oh no, my new girlfriend. <laughs> she knows something's up. She was like, what did you do? Uh, go hide. I'll see you tomorrow for a movie date. I'm so excited. I, I don't know why it's like making me feel like, Ooh. like so nostalgic and like a really like kind of gross, disgusting way. Like how this is how we used to live our lives. Like, <gasps> I wonder if we're gonna like look back on like 2021 in, in this way and just be like, what were we thinking? I just keep feeling like something's gonna happen. Eh, I'm logging out. Days are getting shorter. You chose to attend Evelyn's end of summer thing. Thankfully, there's only one party this Halloween and it's at Matt's. There's Matt. Cassie, you and Evelyn, and you didn't even need me to wingman. Oh no, Matt Matt broke up with his girlfriend. I really hope that Emily and Evelyn talked and they sorted it out. All I want for Christmas is you and an iPod. Oh my goodness, Evelyn. Oh, Kelly and Matt are still talking. Oh, never mind. They broke up after that. Evelyn has poked me. She needs to stop. Like this this is clearly harassment. Kelly's sorry? What do you mean? Hey girlfriend. I can't talk to Kelly. Why is she sorry? What happened? Uh, Matt was the one that wasn't loyal. Why is you, why are you putting sorry? So, how was your day? It was whatever. Oh yeah, what'd you get up to? Oh, you know, just in school, just in school. How about you? Oh my goodness, Evelyn, no poke back? Guess I won the war. Why does it have to be on my wall? Ooh, it's so cringe how everybody's watching our conversations. Uh, it's like we're showboating for other people. Uh. Yo, I just remembered. Remembered what? I just remembered that we have a day tomorrow, yeah! How could you forget? I only temporarily forgot. Did we ever decide what we were doing? That was your job. What do you not, do you not even care anymore? You forgot and you don't, oh my goodness. Well, I didn't, no, I didn't do it. How about you pick? Everything feels like a dead end in this town. 
Oh my goodness, it's Eva's birthday. <gasps> uh, let's drive. <laughs> Be an angsty teen, heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm gonna give her a kiss. What you've always wanted. A virtual calf. I'll stick up my new iPod so you can DJ. This is probably like the healthiest relationship I've ever had. Well, that makes me feel good. You can do what you want. You can talk to who you want. You can, you can scream it to the universe and it bugs me, but I'll let you do it. Hey, thanks for the birthday gift. You're most welcome. Hopefully he doesn't get, hopefully Evelyn doesn't get bored of me because I'm too nice. Hey, can you be honest? Did you remember my birthday or did Facebook tell you? Facebook helped a bit, a bit, okay? Just a touch. I completely forgot. Emily's birthday soon too. I wonder what I should send. How did talking to her go? I wanna know what, how the talk went. Are you guys good now? It went well. We both had a lot to say, I guess. I think she wants to put the past behind her as much as I do. That's great. I knew that it would go well. I know. I knew that Emily's just a good friend. Oh, and she, e Evelyn's wishing Emily a happy birthday. It's just kind of hard. Like, we're not friends again, but we're friendly? Time heals all. Maybe you'll be friends again soon. I had a friend where we didn't talk for an entire year and we needed that year off because now we're like really close again. Hey, thanks again for helping me with the Emily stuff. I really appreciate it. Glad I could help. I just want the best for you. Unlike some people, <coughs> Travis. Oh, Kelly and Emily might get a little closer. I wonder if Emily's gonna talk to Kelly about Matt now that they broke up. This year with you has been great. Best year ever. Evelyn is now friends with Anna McKinley. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I'm turning into Travis. <laughs> Who knew senior year would be so fun? Everyone is so like free or something. I don't know. Senior year is really fun. Like we're at, we're at the top of the food chain now and we can just be as stupid as we want to be. I guess so like all the cliques are just falling apart. I wonder why. High school's ending. We're starting to realize it doesn't matter anymore. And it's starting to be about like, oh, what school are you going to? Who's going where? Like, we're just starting to have different priorities and starting to get a lot better. It's just kind of cool. Like, I'm meeting some people for the first time. There were people I went to school with my whole life who I didn't get to know until the very end. Oh, hey, you know what? I got a job for you. I convinced this girl from English to make a profile. Can you friend her? Do I have to? That sounds like a lot of work. You do, in fact, have to. Ugh, only because you're my girlfriend. She said you look cute in your profile picture and I was like, I know. Hey, I'm more than eye candy, all right? I have a brain. One of the options was me saying she looks cute too. That's kind of weird. Evelyn wrote on Steve's wall. Who's Steve? Steve is whatever you like. Oh, he likes himself some Kanye? He likes himself some you could have whatever you like. Evelyn wants to find new friends. I just think other friends, I just think having other friends is super important. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to me, but you can definitely have other friends and you should. I don't know, like if you're in a relationship with no other friends, that just sounds unhealthy. At least for me, it would be. Gotta get some friends then. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, well then go get some. Don't talk to me about it. You're giving me anxiety. I'm just trying to live my life. Out of curiosity, who would you say is your closest friend right now? Right now it's you. Is that, are you gonna judge me for that? It's actually you. Besides me, you dingus. Emily, maybe. Oh, hopefully I doesn't rub her the wrong way, but I think it's true. I, oh yeah? I didn't realize you two still talked. Not a lot anymore, but yeah, where I left off, like she was probably the close, like she was, she was a big player in my life. I was gonna say Matt, but I don't know how true that is. Him and Kelly broke up. I didn't see that coming at all. I heard something. Oh, I shouldn't have said, oh no, I just sold out Emily. I shouldn't have said that. What, really? Uh-oh. When we went ice skating this week, they seemed so happy. Yeah, well, I mean, looks can be deceiving. You never know what's happening. If they don't share everything on Facebook, you never know what's happening in a relationship. I guess that's true. Ugh, breakups are the worst. Oh, sometimes they gotta happen. We are young after all. I know that, but like, they still suck. I didn't have to be contrarian there. I hope Matt and Kelly are like, okay. I'll be fine with time. You know, you know how it goes. Time heals all. I don't know, Matt hasn't posted anything at all today. Makes me kind of worried. Maybe he's out being single, being the dog that he is. I just texted him asking him how he's doing. He might not want to talk. Maybe, but he's always been so nice to me. It felt weird not saying anything. Oh, he texted back. Oh, that was quick. Well, there you go, he's fine. Oh no, it sounds like he's torn up pretty bad about the breakup. He wants to call me in a few minutes. I'm sure talking to someone will help. I am not going to become Travis. Thank you very much. Talk to him. I trust you. Travis didn't like Evelyn being with Emily because he was jealous. He didn't ha he didn't know anything was wrong with Emily. Whereas in this situation, I know that Matt's a bad person because I trust Emily and I'm still letting them talk. Are you okay with him calling me? I trust you. It's not about my ability to trust other people. All that trust is, is my trust between you if we're dating. Like he is on the rebound right now and he's definitely attracted to Evelyn. So maybe I should let her know that he might put her in an unfair situation. But then that would be, that would be betraying Emily. 
I'm just, okay, I'm not, I'm gonna try my best to not sell out Emily, but there's just something you should maybe know before you talk to him. He might be a secret admirer of yours. I'm not gonna say he broke up for Kelly, with Kelly for you because I don't know that, but he might be a secret admirer of yours. And I know that because of what he said to me, so I don't have to sell out Emily. That sounds like some horse crap to me. The kid floors with anyone and everything. That's just how he is. I can either say I'm pretty sure it's real, everything seems too perfect, or someone told me directly. This is a lie though. Everything seems too perfect. This seems like something a manipulative dude would say. Pretty sure it's real? I don't know. I think it's- I think it's real because he was hitting on Emily. I don't want her to think I'm, like, being possessive. Oh god! I'm okay with you guys talking! So you're saying that he's into me and broke up with Kelly because of that? That's not exactly what I'm saying. I just want you to be careful. Something like that. What's the F? Uh, this is, like, super weird. I know, right? I'm as weirded out as you are. What the heck, Matt? Seriously, he's a friend, but that's where that ends. Okay, I'm glad Evelyn understands. <laughs> and like, I'm definitely with you in case he hasn't noticed. I, yeah, I'm glad he feels, I'm glad she feels that way. Yeah, okay. I don't need confirmation that she doesn't like him. It feels like my character in this game is a little jealous. Oh no, Evelyn thinks that's what I meant though. Come on, Cassie, what other way would I feel? I like you and that's it. Well, same here. I'm not gonna say, are you sure there was an, are you sure on the bottom? Uh, I'm so not taking his phone call now. You don't have to not. You don't have to not take the call. He might need a friend right now. Just take the call knowing that. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I don't want to. Like, blech. I feel gross. Like, what if I encouraged it by accident? You didn't encourage anything. Don't blame yourself for him being a creep. I can't help but feel like I did something wrong, though. Ugh, I feel like garbage. Oh, I didn't mean for this to make you feel like garbage. This is all on Matt, trust me. Like, you're just... Oh, this is what happens to young girls. Like, you're just enjoying your life, and you're blaming yourself for the depravity of other people. Do not do that. God, poor Kelly. She'll be okay. It's better that they broke up. Yeah, it's just a crappy thing to go through. I don't know. What should we, like, do now? I'll talk to him. Don't worry, I can... I can deal with this. Thanks, Cassie. This is a lot to deal with. I'm so glad you're not like these guys. You seem different from most people, too. <laughs> you're so good to me. Oh, Evelyn. You're killing me. Stop. I can either say for my status I like Evelyn way more, I'm going on a date, or I had the best sandwich today. I'm gonna say I had the best sandwich today, because, like, come on, the PDA isn't that important. Gorgeous. Had a beautiful sandwich. Had a big pickle on it. Oh no, Evelyn's rubbing, rubbing it in my face. Who has the status screaming about our date night? That'd be me. I'm just a private person. Like, you mean the world to me, I'm just a private person. You have to respect that. You can be friends with anyone you want, I'm just a private person. Evelyn found a relationship quiz and wants us to do it. Those things never work. Afraid I'll win, huh? No. How would I even cheat? Oh no. Oh, she's linking me the quiz and it's access my public information. Post to my wall, access my friend's information. Do I have to? A genie appears and will grant you one wish. What is it? To be liked by everyone, a superpower, world peace, and more wishes. I don't know, I guess world peace? What smiley would you most likely use to show you're excited? Probably the, at the time, this one for sure. What kind of clothes do you wear most often? Dressy. You're getting pumped for something. What's your iPod playing? I guess out of these ones, probably brand new or Daft Punk but more, more likely brand new, unfortunately. Do you eat meat? Yes. It's Saturday night, you're having fun. What are you doing? I'm playing video games. You got a call from the president, why are they calling? I have a particular set of skills. Where do you want to travel the most? Tokyo for sure. Which of the following would you absolutely never do? Cheat on someone, lie to a good friend, kill another person, or none of the above? Would you absolutely never do? What, what, can I say none of the above? You're on a date and all these films are playing. What do you see? Ooh, definitely Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless. Oh, Spirited Away was there. Oh, changing it. What's the furthest you go on a first date? Oh, girl. Oh, in 2008? Kissing. What talent would you most like having? Ooh, gu guitar well, like Dragon Force well, yes. What's the most important trait for a romantic partner? Probably that they're honest. Emily may be your secret crush. Shut up. I'm a 90% with Emily and only 75 with Evelyn? Kelly, the hell do you want? I'm taken. Leave me alone. How are you? Good. Well, I've been better. <laughs> nice. It's been a rough few days. I can't imagine. 
Listen, I really... I'm sure you have other friends. Thanks, Cassie, you're really kind. I mean, not really, but I try. I just feel like you're a little vulnerable right now, and I just don't want to get in any... Oh my goodness, no. So, I'm sure you know by now that me and Matt broke up. Yeah, I heard. We all heard. It's on Facebook, girl. Yes, Kelly, I did hear that. <laughs> it's okay. I was hoping... I was just hoping to ask you a favor. I knew it. I knew it. What? You didn't message me cold turkey out of the blue. What do you want? First, you have to promise to not, like, repeat this to anyone. I, I don't know you. I'll do my best. I'm not making any promises. Are you, like, free tonight? I'm going on a date with my girlfriend. Do you know her? Oh, bummer. I know you're really good at listening and, like, giving advice and stuff. I'm not canceling my plans. We could talk now, but when it's time to be with my girl, that's what I'm gonna go do. Oh, oh, I, I wasn't asking for you. I, I wasn't asking you about me. I was asking for Matt. Oh, Kelly wasn't asking for herself? What about Matt? I just wanted to ask if you would talk with him. He hasn't really spoken to me since I broke up with him yesterday. Oh, <gasps> she dumped him. That's why her status was sorry. Should I just pry? I'm gonna pry. Hey, why'd you break up? I mean, for a lot of reasons. It had been growing for a while. Did something happen? You, were, you guys were happy for so long. I mean, it wasn't anything big. Matt was always good and faithful and all that. <laughs> no, he wasn't, but okay. People just change sometimes, don't you think? Usually there's a reason, Kelly. I don't feel like you're being honest with me. Sometimes, yeah, but sometimes no. Like, we're just different people now than junior year, and we want different things in life. Actually, that's a good reason. I'm glad it wasn't super dramatic. Interesting. Plus, it's senior year and everything's ending soon anyways. Like, we're in high school right now. Our relationship, our relationships are not gonna last. Don't say that in front of me. Yeah, college is coming. Oh no, this is gonna make me feel sick because that means me and Evelyn might break up. Don't worry, I'm sure you and Matt will stay in touch. So he hasn't messaged you about the breakup then? No, and I'm actually surprised he hasn't. It's kind of slimy. Yeah, me too. You are his best friend after all. Don't say that. I have to reach out to him. And I told Evelyn I would talk to him. I have to. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad. What if Emily was lying to me? Oh, what a good BFF. Hey, can you tell him I'm like, sorry? Like there was nothing he could have done, you know? I'll make sure he knows. Thanks. Oh, and you'll need to friend request his new profile. What? What's wrong with the old one? Kick up the leaves and the magic is lost? What? Just let me burn, it's what I deserve. What's wrong with you, Matt? I don't know, he friended me from this one late last night. But when I went to accept it this morning, the request was gone. Poor Matt. He must be really torn up. I feel bad. It's so crazy how your opinion on someone can just change so fast. <sighs> Whatever. Now that you're here, that's the weight off my shoulders. Well, you can't just throw it off onto me. Go be free, stupid. Go live your life. Oh. <gasps> Matthew accepted my friend request. Hey, Matt. Nice new digs. Look at that, you're all fresh and new, looking all lonely and stuff. Oh my goodness, he's going through it. <gasps> Thanks. How are you? I'm okay. You? I'm excited to meet the new Matt. Maybe I'll get him like excited for his future. Do you want to talk about Kelly and stuff? Do you need a friend? Listen, I know you're probably just being nice, but like, you don't need to talk to me if you don't want to. I do want to. I'm not gonna say you're my friend because I've been backstabbing him ever since what Emily told me. <gasps> I hate rumors! I just feel bad. I'm not my usual self. Probably no fun to talk to. <laughs> I've never seen you not hyper. You're usually like the crazy guy who's like always annoying the teachers and bouncing off the walls. Ugh, it's a week of firsts. Matthew, I don't like you being dead inside like this! Welcome to Sad Boy City. Population, me. <laughs> Matt! It's population us now, Matt. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. Check out this playlist I'm listening to. Yep, that's a lot of emo stuff right there. Just broke up with my girlfriend and this helped. Yep, that'll that'll just about do it. Man, even your sad music sucks, Matt. Let's uh, clean that up a little bit. What? What's so wrong with this song? The song's for children, Matt. Who cares, though? Let's move on. Okay, I need to stop insulting you. Let's talk about important things. Hey, thanks for making me crack up. Hey, uh, I wasn't even trying. What are, you, what, are you, the, what are you talking about? God, you're easy to cheer up. You are such a joyful guy. Dang, I still can't believe I'm single. No warning signs? Like, what happened? Not at all. We were supposed to hang out yesterday like any other day. 
So I wasn't prepared at all for when she said we needed to talk about stuff. I'm almost positive that Kelly and Emily met up. Is Emily trying to ruin Matt's life? Yeah, I think so. I'm just stuck right now, replaying the conversation in my head. Like, was there anything I could have said or done differently? There's nothing you could have done. She told me to tell you that, by the way. I think she just grew out of you, and that sucks. But maybe I could have changed things long before now. Maybe I should have picked up on this stuff. But then you wouldn't be you, Matt. That's the problem. You're you. You're happy to be you. You're, you're great to be around. Yeah, you're a little flirty, but you know what? You're a happy dude. And you mean well, I think. Oh, I don't know when things got like this. We were really good for like so long. She's not that Kelly anymore. Yeah, I guess so. Do you think she could ever like, I don't know, love me again? Oh, Matt, please. You should focus on you now. Matt, this is really just awful. This is just awful. Seeing the happy guy down like this, it sucks. But maybe I could say something, or change something, or I don't know. Oh, Matt, oh, you're going through something that- Oh, this is a growing pain we've all been through. Just trying to change to be what the other person wants. The nice thing about Kelly, though, is that Kelly dumped him instead of trying to make him change. Kelly, like, she put him in a bad position, but she did the right thing. The best thing right now is to put time in between it, Matt. There's nothing you can do, buddy. I know, it sucks. Right, should move on. I'm sorry I'm like this. I've just never loved anyone but Kelly. You never thought about, like, after her? Of course he didn't. What a stupid question for me to ask. Honestly, no. It's always been her. <laughs> Why do you ask? I've <laughs> heard some things. Ah, I can't say that. You seem overly nice sometimes. I'm gonna confront him, but in the gentlest way possible. What people? If not Kelly, who would I have a crush on? Oh. 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 Okay, so here's the problem. If I say Evelyn, then it makes me seem like the possessive boyfriend who's like, stay away from my girlfriend. If I say Emily, then I'm selling out Emily, who told me not to say anything. Gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, plead the 2008 and screw over Emily. I was immature at the time, it's what I would do. I don't know, maybe people like Emily? Whoa, what? Emily? Definitely not. My mistake. <laughs> Emily, what the heck were you just telling me? Why would you say that? You seem flirty towards her. So, so if it was Emily, I couldn't say this because it makes me seem possessive. But because it's, em because it's Emily, bang. Sometimes you just seem flirty towards her. Maybe I was overly friendly? I think I do that sometimes, but I don't mean anything by it. So Evelyn was right and I should have let Evelyn just talk to him. Maybe you should tone it down a little bit. Matt, you're giving people the wrong impression and like Emily made me hate you. I can do that. Yeah. Well, I hope she doesn't think I'm like a creep now. I hate being the carrier message pigeon. I can try talking to her about it. Maybe? If you think it'll help. Oh, Matthew, you just got dumped. You shouldn't ha You shouldn't be thinking about this. I'm so mad at Emily. But like, trust me, you're my best friend. I'd tell you this kind of stuff. Oh, why did I say that Emily is my best friend? Ugh, I can't. You know what? Don't get sappy on me. I was, I've always been toxic in this way. Like, I know, I, I love you too. Let's just not say it to each other. First Kelly breaks up with me, then Emily says I'm a creep. Oh no, what, what have I done? Kelly wrote on Emily's wall. Hello, Emily. This is pretty random, but want to go to the mall tomorrow? We can be a couple of single ladies together. I feel like Emily's, I feel like Emily's got a plan and I don't know what it is. I'm going to change the subject. What did you ask for for Christmas, Matt? Just the end of my social life, obviously. Oh, jeez. Wish granted. There you go. Your life's ruined. Have fun. You know what I'm going to go ahead and not do? I'm going to go ahead and not write on Emily's wall. Bye! So what do you think of my new profile? Um, you need to change your status. Like, turn a new leaf, bud. Oh, it's Evelyn. Oh my god, so you know how you lost that sweatshirt? Guess what I just found! I've been so cold. I've been so cold without that sweatshirt. Well, okay, I'll get right on that. Do you think it's dumb I made a new one? Honestly, I, I, I was gonna say a little, but you know what? Whatever helps. Just delete Kelly, would you? What's the point of a new one if you have Kelly on this one? Oh. Evelyn's telling me that her mom got called into work, which means she won't be home till late. Ooh, should I come over? Hmm, let me think about that one, obviously. Whoa, what's up with this new Matthew Gursky profile you're friends with? I reached out to Matt. Oh, and Evelyn, I've got a few things to tell you about him. I just wanted a fresh start, I guess. It needs more pictures. <laughs> Whoa, we made a new profile. What did that idiot say? He doesn't like you. I was wrong. 
And do you believe him? I do believe him. Call me stupid, but I believe him. I'm sorry that I did this. I should have kept my mouth shut. Well, that's a, well, that's a relief. Really would have sucked if he was like that. Yeah, would have lost a friend. Oh man, I just got wicked deja vu of helping you set up your profile. Hey, that was actually kind of fun. The good old days. <laughs> yeah, it was. Wow, senior year is like halfway over. Hey, it's coming up quick. And trust me, you're gonna meet lots of ladies in college. I am kind of bummed I can't make you fight him now, though. Yeah, you were gonna do that? That's toxic. I wonder if people will keep in touch after high school or not. I don't know, Matt. Just the real friends. Okay, Evelyn feels bad for Matt now. I really do. Hopefully he can't stay sad. What's your and Eva's plans for college? Sorry, maybe that was forward. Oh, I forgot that I did a relationship quiz too. Um, the results are dumb. It says, don't take it seriously. It said that I like Emily, which I don't actually. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Cassie, I'm third place behind Kelly and Emily. The quiz lies. The quiz lies. It's official. This relationship is doomed. The internet never lies. It might lie sometime. Okay, Evelyn, go do the quiz. And hopefully it doesn't say Matt Gursky is your man. Hey, me and you should hang out soon like we used to. Chill and play video games or whatever. Yeah, let's do it. I trust you. Let's get it. Would also have the benefit of helping me forget about my depressing life. That's a pretty big positive. Well, until I crush you actually at games, then you're gonna be upset about it. How about tonight? I'll bring over some games or something. I have a date. Maybe tomorrow? Oh, my friend needs me though. Oh! Oh man, that's a bummer. Some other time. Man, we were talking about people who like abandon their friends for their significant other and that's what I'm doing right now and it sucks. Well, thanks again for talking to my depressing self tonight. Hey, everybody has those days. Huh, I think I'm just gonna go take a nap or something. Have fun on your date. My mind is going a mile a minute. I can't believe, like I just, I shouldn't have told him about what Emily said and now I'm leaving him alone. Like there's, so now he has to deal with thinking that he's a creep and he's alone and he got dumped. Oh my God. Oh geez, what am I doing? What am I doing? I should have just, I should just cancel with Evelyn, but then I regret it for the rest of my life. Just let me burn. It's what I deserve. Stop it. So what's Matt saying? He wanted to hang out tonight, but I said I had plans. Oh no, really? Do you think that was okay? What do you mean? I thought you'd be mad if I'd bailed. I guess we can just hang out some other time. Well, if you say so. I'm selfishly excited about tonight. Good, it's gonna be great. Feels bad though. I hate situations like this where you're not happy with either outcome. I, I love just driving around with you. And then, we can get, and then we can get to chill here after. With no supervision, yeah. Evelyn took the quiz and I'm number one with 96. You must have cheated. Oh my goodness, Evelyn just said I love you. Okay, thanks. I know. All right, I guess I'm gonna go get ready, but no goodbyes, remember? Yeah, deuces. See you tonight. Wait, what did Evelyn write on Steve's wall? You must be Steve's friend to see their feet. That's okay, I can ignore that. Logging out. Spring 2009, you kept your date plans with Evelyn. Matt understood and still thinks of you as his friend. That's good. And now you have an invite to senior prom. I think that I'm professional. Like, I think that this is the best possible way you can play this game. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Looks like Matt's got better. Hey, babe. Hey there. Baby. Mr. Anderson invited me to invent prom. Is Evelyn going? Oh, Matt's giving it a maybe. Oh, the poor thing. I'm giving it a maybe too. Oh, me and Evelyn went to a concert last night. This is a picture of us. We're so cute. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this picture. Okay, you need to stop saying you love me all the time. Like, stop. Okay, thanks. Love you too. Please, let's chill. Let's chill a bit. What? Oh no. Uh, what just happened? I just tried to turn on baby and it's dead. Who is this bait? What, what? Baby, my iPod, you knew that. You're babe, obviously. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Evelyn wrote on Daniel Kristen's wall. I can't see any of the things that Evelyn's doing. Actually, I've been getting into hip hop lately. Do you like that too? Uh, maybe, I like punk more though. Please don't tell me you're growing out of me. Evelyn keeps hinting that she's like growing out of our music. She wants different friends. She's writing on people's walls that I don't have mutual friends with. It's great, like things are changing, okay? And I don't know if I like it. Hey, um, speaking of coupley things, did you see what's coming up? Are you talking about prom? Wanna go to prom with me? Will you make me the luckiest person in the world and go to prom with me? Mm hmm? Oh, of course I'll go to prom with you. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know what you'd wanna do, go to prom or do her own thing. You'd wanna dip? I mean, I did put maybe for a reason. I don't know, I could see it being fun, but I don't really care. Honestly, I don't care either way. I'm not gonna tell her to not go to her prom because that's a once in a lifetime thing and we can always just hang out and do whatever any other day. So I don't care as long as we're together, you choose. 
I'm not choosing for you. Psh, no way. I already used that dumb line, which means you have to decide. I don't want to decide. <gasps> oh, please help me. Help me. Oh, no. Is she going to dump me for being indecisive? Fine. I guess if I had to pick, I kind of think ditching would be fun. She did not, like, strike me as the ditching kind. Whatever you say. I guess we're ditching prom. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I'm going to throw a bomb party and we're going to dance. Sure. That's all you. Oh, no. She's making me make a decision again. Do you want a drink for our anti-prom party? Oh, God. I'm okay. I, I wanted to say whatever you think, but I'm going to say I'm okay. Oh, gosh. I'm okay. Nah. I want to remember everything. At, at the very least, we should remember everything. Oh, that's so cute! In, like, the trashiest kind of way. You started it! She was saying that she, like, wants to dance the night away. And was, like, asking if she should get drinks. And I guess it is kind of trashy that I'm like, I want to remember that. Evelyn do be writing on this guy's wall a lot. She, she do. She do. Evelyn is not attending the prom. <gasps> Evelyn is ditching prom with someone cool. Can we do anything, just the two of us, Evelyn? Ooh, Matt Gursky's like, what's your plan for prom? If you're ditching, we could party. Oh, Matt. Can Matt come? Party for three? Uh, I guess I'll do it too, because, you know, I was saying that I'm eating a sandwich. You know what? No, I'm gonna be myself. I'm having a good night, all right? If you want to know everything I'm doing, check Evelyn. Yo, Cassie. Yo, Matt. What's up? I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Uh, sure thing. What's up? You're making me nervous, Matt. Before I say anything, if I'm, like, super off base, please don't get mad at me. No promises. What do you know about this Steve guy? Oh, the guy who Evelyn keeps writing on his wall? He's Evelyn's friend. But you've been seeing these wall posts, right? I guess not. I'm not friends with him. There's ones between them. Like, have you seen Evelyn's responses? You're making me paranoid, Matt. I'm not friends with him. He just accepted my friend request today and, uh, sent me a screenshot. Even Steve are clearly flirting on here. They better not be. This guy loves Kanye. Wait a minute. Steve loves Kanye, and Eva's been getting more and more into hip-hop. Uh, Cassie, if only you could see his profile. Now, how can we do that? Screenshots, idiot. Come on, dude, it's 2008. Let's go. You can just log in as me. Taking a screenshot would be way easier than that. There are definitely easier ways than that. Trust me, this is the best way. My password is 30H3Forever. Oh my goodness. Oh, three... Three? Are these zeros or O's? Three, O, oh, three, forever. Okay. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, I don't want to see it. Oh, wait. Matthew. Three, O, oh, three, forever. Oh, get me in here. Okay, let's go. Oh, jeez. Wait a second here. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Steve says to Evelyn, Yo, friend, I was wondering if you perhaps had a hot hip-hop playlist for me, pretty please. And then Eva says, Sorry this took so long. I stayed up late making it just for you. And then she says, Cass wants to dish and throw a party. That's where I'll be. You better be there too, Steve. And then there's me being happy. What the frick? She's making me look like an idiot. Whoa. Steve took the compatibility quiz and got a 96 on Eva. And Eva's like, a 96? Steve, I know you cheated. I just don't know how. Wait, is Emily dating a Jeff Fisher now? What? There's all these people I don't know. This is getting so confusing. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, Matt Gursky's only forward. So did you see them? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like I'm talking. Looks like Matt's talking to himself, but this is me. His profile has crap on it too. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know what to do. Uh, what do you make of all this? I don't know. I feel like they're clearly flirting because if Evelyn said to me, "Hey, we're gonna ditch prom. Do you mind if Steve comes?" Then I'd be totally cool with that. But the first that I'm hearing of Steve being invited to our prom date is on Steve's wall. No, sir. They're clearly flirting. I'm a really private person, though. I don't know if I should be telling this to Matt. Right? I thought so, too. Like, she messaged Steve about prom night right after she RSVP'd. They're planning something. I'm really sorry. I just had to show you this. I'm glad you did. Eva better watch out the next time I talk to her. Do you think Eva could really be, like, in a Steve? Could just be flirting. Whether she really is or not, the, like, this is not okay. Has she seemed, like, different at all lately? I guess more, like, excited. Before Kelly broke up with me, she started being a lot more outgoing. New friends, new personality, all of that. But Eva's already outgoing, so maybe, I don't know if they're, I don't know if, like, you can really count that, like, I, two people 
doing the same pattern doesn't mean the same outcome. Yeah, you're right. That's true. What do you think this all like means for you two? I think we just have to set some boundaries. Boundaries at the least and breaking up at most. You mean like tell her not to talk to Steve or something? No, not exactly. She she can talk to Steve. It's just that I feel blindsided. That's all. She can absolutely talk to Steve. Even if I didn't know the full extent of it, but I knew she was talking to Steve and she mentioned Steve once to me, that would have been cool. Oh crap, Steve's online. Should you like talk to him? I'm not calling him. Absolutely not. I'm gonna talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm checking Matt's notifications. I forgot I was on his account. So what are you gonna say to Evelyn? I'm gonna ask her what is up with Steve. Like I had no idea they were this close and it's weird because like I feel like we tell each other everything. Steve is not attending the prom because he's gonna hang out with me. Good idea. We don't really know how she feels but whatever. You can't control that. Evelyn could just be oblivious and being overly friendly, right? She wouldn't do this. Not the Eva who I told you were into. She wouldn't do this. I guess I'm saying you can bring up Steve without being accusatory or whatever. Okay, shut up, Matt. No one's asking you anymore. Thanks for the help. Bye. No worries. I'll be here all night if you need to talk. That's really sweet. I feel bad. Oh, look who's online. I could say I found your secret, which is not what current adult me would do, but it's 2008. Looks like I found out your secret. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shut up, Eva. You never look dumb. Quite the contrary. Ooh, he is flirting with her. Who's this Steve guy? I'm just gonna- I'm, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. We're having a little conversation now. Huh, my secret? What are you talking about? Oh, Steve? He's just a friend from English. He sits at the same table as me and Anna. You can't say someone's just a friend and be talking like this. Yeah, of course. What is this all about? You're flirting with him. Duh. And if I'm wrong, then ease my mind. But since we're in a relationship, I should be able to ask. Well, what? Uh, no, I'm not. You're being ridiculous. Do not say that I'm being ridiculous. I am voicing a concern. I, like, you're allowed to be friends with whoever you want, but don't, like, don't trivialize my feelings. You're being pretty dismissive. No, I'm not. Listen. Full disclosure, Steve's going through some personal stuff right now, and I'm trying to help. Ooh. Ooh, I want to hit her with a frankly I don't care so bad. You invited him to our prom without telling me. <sighs> Should I just hit her with it? I'm gonna hit her with it. I'm hitting her with it. Frankly, I don't care. Feels bad. Nice one. Maybe if more people cared, he wouldn't need my help. And how are you helping? Hmm? How are you helping him again? I didn't know he needed a resident girl to flirt with him. By being there for him? I don't know. We're just like pretty close and I care about him. Oh, you care about him now. I thought you were just friends. I'm telling you, something's not adding up here. I can tell as much. You're gonna make me look like the possessive jerk. It's nothing, okay? So can we stop talking about it? No, we can't stop. No, we're not gonna agree to disagree. I'm not agreeing to disagree with you. Are we are we dating or are we not? Okay, fine, I'll say it. Say what? Me and Steve are just friends, nothing more. Okay, so I could say I trust you, not him, but that's not the truth. I don't care about him. And I don't know if I trust her right now because this is weird. I don't like you as friends. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna say it seems more complicated than that because it does, but it isn't. Remember when you thought Matt liked me and it turned out to all be a misunderstanding? You're reacting differently. I remember how you reacted then and you're acting differently now. Ooh, I'm owning her. Such a good point. What? No, I'm not. And how do we solve the Matt thing? You just talk to him, right? I guess so. But the problem is, is I don't care what Steve does. My issue is the way you're speaking to him. So I'll just bring this up with Steve and tell you what he says, okay? I don't like the what, what this this is not a, this is not a parallel. I'm just gonna copy and paste what he said. I don't care what he says. What? Definitely not. I'm sorry, Cassie feels that way. Of course, we're just friends. How did she copy and paste it that fast? They're talking right now. This still feels weird. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know either. I think I want to. I think I want to break up. I don't know. I'm not satisfied with the conclusion of this argument. Like, you were the one that convinced me to reconnect with Emily. What does that have to do with this? Because friends are always important. Didn't you say that? Yeah! I did say- th Oh my goodness, she is so manipulative! I wouldn't say any of these three. I wouldn't say any of these three. I'd just be like, you know, this isn't this-, this I, I think we're just different people. That was a very different situation than right now. This is not what I would prefer to say, but it's all I have. I don't know. Feels the same to me. Well, bye. So what do you want me to do? Just stop talking to him? Like, you know me. You know this year's been hard. And I finally have close friends again, and you want me to cut them out? Oh, oh my god! She's literally flirting with him on his wall, and she's making it seem like I'm doing what Travis did to Emily. I've been so open. I've been so supportive. I'm not seeing that I want you to cut all of your new friends out. You are being manipulative. You're gonna make me cry. I feel the same way. That's how I felt all night. 
Thank you. Bye. Can we just drop this and go back to normal, please? It's nothing. He's nothing. No, I don't think we can. I think that sometimes two people go two different ways. And I think that if you have to agree to disagree, then it's just not it. I think this might be the end of the road for us, Evelyn. It's killing me, but maybe we can talk about it later or something. I'm just super messed up right now. I can say, I'm sorry, I'll drop it, but nothing's changed yet. Or no, should do this now. I don't want to force her to cut Steve off right now. I think the only thing I can do is drop it. <sighs> Me being the good and significant other all the time. Okay, I'll drop it. Sorry for messing you up. Thank you for understanding. I'm not understanding. I'm taking the high road. I just feel like friends are important, you know? Hope you're right. I'm fuming. Thank you for understanding. Ugh, you really are such a nice person. I don't like any of these responses. And you're nice too? No. Because you deserve it, no. Glad you think so, it's the best we're gonna get. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. I just wanna be held by you. Please, not in public. Oh no, I should've just kept, I should've kept pressing it. I should've kept pressing it. Because she just went straight back to normal and I don't wanna go back to normal. Evelyn is in love with senior year. Eh! You make me happy. I try really hard, I do, I do. I do the most, I'm letting, like this girl is playing me. She's playing me like a fiddle. And it sucks. This reminds me of Beyonce saying what's worse, being jealous or crazy. Because like, I let go of it because I didn't want to look crazy and now I'm in a position that I really shouldn't be in. Also, I didn't realize prom's tomorrow. Deuces. Get me out of here! I'm guessing by that status that the talk went well? We didn't talk much. She didn't let me talk to her about it. Are her and Steve done being friends? They're still talking. Still talking. I know, Matt. I look like a complete loser. Whoa, really? Are you sure that's gonna be okay? We'll see what happens. I told her my side, we'll have to see what happens. Dang, you really are way more trusting than I could ever be. Maybe that's why I'm single and you're not. It's hard, but I try. It's so, oh, it's hard, it's hard. It's not even that I'm jealous, it's just like, okay, so I really think that I'm not jealous. I really think that I, I really think that she's just not being honest. I don't think that she, like, she doesn't have to tell me everything she does, but I feel completely blindsided by this. And then her saying like, we're just friends. But then her saying, I really care about him and he's going through a lot. Like, it's just, it's, what do you mean? If this was Emily, she wouldn't be talking like that. Oh my goodness, Steve sent me a friend request. <gasps> what the hell do you want? Steve's still hitting on Eva. Eva's subtweeting me. Eva's flirting with Steve. High school's over. You talked to Evelyn about Steve. She assured you they're just friends. Life is good and summer vacation is here. Is life really that good? I just don't even know. I'd much rather break up than stay in these situations. <laughs> Anna McKinley? Who the heck is that? Hey, I kind of want to get something special for a certain someone on a certain day, but I need ideas. Happy to help. I guess let's go to the mall. Oh crap, is that Cassie? Oh crap, is that Matt? Wrong number, don't talk to me. Oh, my mistake, who is this then? It's your worst nightmare. Looks like, looks like Matthew and Anna might have a thing. Matthew's here saying, supposed to hang out with Anna later, but just, but just being a bum till then. Speaking of her, I saw she wrote on your wall. Oh my goodness, you're such a creep. Guilty as charged, but hey, maybe you could do me a favor? Just make sure she doesn't go overboard or something. I'll do it for a price. So, how are you and Evelyn doing? Honestly, I don't really know anymore. Whoa, wait, why do you say that? I've uh, just been distant lately. As I predicted. Maybe she's just stressed about college or something? It's possible, but I don't need you to troubleshoot. I think that I know what's going on. I'm sure that it's nothing. What do you know, Matt? Like, you have the best of intentions, but what do you know? You two are like a power couple, you know? I don't know what that means. I mean, that is kind of cool, but... It means you have a catchy couple name. Castellan or something like that. Uh, that sounds like a disease. That sounds like what the cheerleaders got when they went on that mountain trip. Oh, there's Evelyn busy writing on Steve's wall. Ugh, it's Evelyn. Hey, Cassie. Hello there, you weird-voiced woman. I'm so mad at her. I'm so over this. I can't wait for college. Nothing ever happens in this crappy town. Do you want to come over? I could sure use some quality time. I don't know. My mom wanted me to stay in tonight. Let me talk to her. She likes me. <laughs> she does, but it's okay. I can just work on some art or whatever. If you're sure... You don't really seem like you want to come over, but that's fine. So what have you been up to? This and that. Matt was just messaging me. Oh yeah, I saw he wanted to do a beach day or something. What do you think? Should we go? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I just don't know. I feel like I'm going through the motions right now. I've just been kind of busy lately. Oh, have you now, Evelyn? Plus, I don't really like the beach. Well then just, then why didn't you say you don't want to go? It's only a day, Evelyn. I thought you liked being together. Like you can just tell, you can just tell that the energy's different. 
I guess, she says. Is it like a double date? You'd have to ask Matt. Um, excuse me. Steve status, you the best, best I ever had. Are you and Evelyn gonna do it real big, bigger than you've ever done it? What do you think we'll do for college? Uh, what kind of a question is that? Are we trying to break up now or what? It's just something I've been thinking about lately. We can figure it out then, when we get there. She wants to dump me for sure. And just put blinders on until the summer's over? Kind of seems like we're running straight into a wall. Oh, so this is a hard conversation you want to have, and I wanted to have a hard conversation a few weeks ago, and you didn't want to do that. What wall is that exactly? The wall of figuring out where we stand in three months. I know you want to leave me for Steve. Are you breaking up with me? Why didn't you just do it then? I'm trying to figure out what kind of couple we are, you know? No, I don't think I know. And, like, I, <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it! Like, are we high school sweethearts, you know, soulmates? Or are we the other way more common type? The type that breaks up. That sounds kind of existential, don't you think? I don't, th I, I think that what the questions you're asking are impossible to know. Uh, what? You can't not do something because it ends. Everything ends. Relationships, life. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Everything ends, Evelyn. I get left for Steve, inevitably. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you think we're soulmates? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna say yes. Me neither. You're right. <laughs> You're right then, what are we doing? Man, this is gut-wrenching. We should really have this conversation in person. Doesn't sound good. I'm getting dumped. It's nothing. I've just been thinking a lot lately, like about us. Oh, it's nothing. That's just what you said about Steve. Sure. Stop yanking my chain, girl. And you know how you're like my closest friend, right? Uh-huh. I guess lately this has felt more like a friendship than other stuff. Yeah, because you're spending so much time with Steve that you're falling in love with him. More like a friendship than a relationship? Yeah, like when we were together, it's like, it's not as much as it used to be. As much what? Just, why are you talking in symbols? Just say that you don't like me anymore. Fireworks, the butterflies, whatever you want to call it. They're just not there anymore. Yeah, that's because you're c consistently window shopping for new friends and new guys. Let's cut right to the chase, Evelyn. Do you still love me? Of course I love you. Oh my goodness, what a cop out. Do you love me, love me, or do you love me like your mom? I don't know, maybe I'm not like in love with you. Okay, well that hurts. But at least you said it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt you. Well, honestly, I kind of resent you. You haven't felt this way at all? Maybe a bit, but only because of your gross negligence. Great, then you understand what I mean. You always say that you understand me and I understand you, but you don't know what you, you don't know what's going on here. This isn't the same. We aren't the same. We're not just together, we're more. What, what's wrong with my character? We just know each other now. Yeah, we do. We just know each other now, inside and out. I know your insides and I don't like them. Maybe you don't understand what I mean. How long have you felt like this? <laughs> I say as I look up at Steve's name. I guess a while, it's kind of been gradually building, I guess. And talking to friends recently helped me put it into words. Oh, oh, that's why you wanted other friends. You could have talked to me. But when I tried to bring it up to you, you didn't want to talk to me. That's just great. You didn't want to talk to me when I had a perfectly valid observation. You just went and talked to your other friends and now you're you're leaving me. That's just perfect. Sometimes your friends just know you better than you know yourself, I guess. You are not deep at all. Which friends exactly? Not that I care, it's just the only option I have. Well, Steve obviously, and Anna to some degree. Of course Steve convinced you that you don't like me anymore. Why wouldn't he? So what do you think we should do? Figure out what's wrong and fix it? No. Communicate more? No. I don't know, it's up to you, just dump me. Just dump me. Dump me. I'm leaning over. Punch me right in the rectum. It's fine. I mean, I've been thinking about it a lot. Like, this is why Matt and Anna make so much sense to me. Because of the no labels? Oh, you wanna have an open relationship and cheat on me? Mm -hmm. Maybe, there's just a lot of expectations here. Sometimes it's hard to know how I feel versus how I'm expected to feel. I literally am going to smash my computer if I have to listen to this girl talk, like try to be smart uh, for one more second. Just dump me, uh, put me out of my misery. How do you feel about us? Less sure by the second. I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, I was wrong. I know I'm dumping this on you right now. Glad we're talking about it. The sooner you dump me, the sooner I can have a hot girl summer. I just wish we could be more like Matt and Anna, that's all. Not sure that would solve anything, Evelyn. I don't trust you. Maybe it would, and it's worth a try. This girl actually wants to cheat on me. For free. What do you think about taking a break? A break from what? Why don't I have an option that's just like, no, you know what, let's just get you know, uh, Let's just get, let's just get it. Like, stop dating for the summer. We can clear our heads, figure out what we want apart from each other. I don't need to clear my head. But think about yourself too, you deserve better than this. Uh, oh, pfft. oh girl, I know I deserve better than this. Be honest with me, Evelyn. 
Is this about Steve? Uh, no. This is about us. Tell me the truth, Evelyn, please. I let you sleep on it the first time. I'm not gonna let it go. I am, I have been, I swear to you. Do you like Steve? Do you have feelings for him? No. Have you ever cheated on me? She's probably lying her face off right now. No. Have you ever emotionally cheated? I know we're young and you think that just because you haven't physically done anything, it doesn't count, but I think you have emotionally. I really do. I don't know. I knew it! I knew something was up, I'm so smart. I've seen it before. Why didn't you just dump me at the time you were busy cheating on me? Oh, you're so selfish. Do I have feelings for someone else? No, but does being in a relationship really mean I can't have emotional attachments to other people? What a loaded question. She admits emotionally cheating on me and then goes, well, excuse me for having emotional attachments to other things. <gasps> She's the most manipulative person I've ever met. Why didn't I go to Emily's party at the beginning of the game? I guess not. You know what, Evelyn? Just get out Just get out of here. Just go. Do whatever you want. Go live your righteous life where you think you're always right. Listen, all Steve is to me is a friend. He's a great friend. One that I can talk to. One that listens to me. Uh, unlike some people. But in the end, that's all he is. So if you have a problem with that, you don't have a problem with him. You have a problem with me having friends. I don't have a problem with you having friends. I'm so frustrated. Plus, you're the one that said it was okay for me and Steve to be friends, remember? Ah! <laughs> I can either say, and now I regret it, my trust was misplaced, or I never said that. My trust was misplaced is the best option. It's not what I would say, but it's the best option. My trust was misplaced in you. I don't have a problem with Steve. I have a problem with you. Look, if you think me having friends is the problem, then this was broken from the start. I don't think you having friends is the problem. <laughs> This is so painful because this is actually like dating someone who just argues in circles like this is such a straw man. She was obviously emotionally cheating on me with this Steve guy and every time I bring it up she just goes, oh so I can't have friends. Like, I We both know it wasn't. We both know that it wasn't broken from the start. Evelyn, stop playing the victim. Just admit that you cheated on me and move on. Whatever, can we drop this? This girl literally wants to dump me and, oh, can we just take a break and have our own space? And yeah. And like me go, yes, sweetie. Oh, you're so mature. Oh, mm, 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 you're so mature. I love you so much. But if she, like, when it comes to her actually facing what she did, she's like, I don't wanna talk about it. What do we do? Should we take a break for the summer? This is horse ass. I don't care. I was the good guy the first time I brought it up. Sometimes in life you can't be the good guy. Like, I feel like I have to be the bad guy here because she won't let me win. She's just gonna keep turning it into, oh, so I can't have friends. I'm not just gonna listen to this, Evelyn. And one day you'll see what happened. Just lashing out isn't gonna help me either. I'm trying to talk to you. You're talking at me, Evelyn. That's all you've ever done. I just think time apart might be exactly what we need. I would like to break up. Please give me the option. It's what you need, girl. It's what you need. Dump me, please. Yeah, maybe it is, but I'm half of this relationship, right? Whatever. Just please dump me, dude. She's making me make the decision. Oh, okay, so I said I tried. Me too. Huh, we should just break up. I saw that coming. It just took a while. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be sorry. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm so mad. I just can't anymore. I know I messed this up. Stop playing the victim. Just get out. No more simp- Sorry, you're not gonna get any sympathy from me. Get out. Okay, you're mad. I get that. I'm not gonna say you did this. That is so like vengeful. Like it's like something she would say. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm gonna have nightmares about Steve. I need to say this. And I need you to know I mean it. I hope we can still be friends when this all blows over. <laughs> nope, need my sanity. <laughs> Maybe, give me some time. Or seriously, F that. See here, this is the problem. You can't tell me that I'm the type of person that is not okay with you having friends and then tell me that hope we can still be friends. Why would you, Evelyn, want to be friends with me if I'm that type of person? That's why this, like, this doesn't add up and this straw man doesn't work. I'm sorry, but I need my sanity. My own sanity comes first. Had she just said, listen, I've lost feelings for you. I, it's a, I've lost feelings for you. I like Steve. Steve's better than you. I'm getting out of here. I would have loved and respected that and been her friend 10 times over. 
But it's the fact that she had the audacity to say that I, I, I don't let her have friends. Okay, well then I guess this is goodbye. Not looking back. I don't want to say any of these. Whatever, bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Ugh, you would change your status immediately. What, why were we even together? You were a lie? Ah! Oh my god, I hate her so much. All she can do is play the victim. Oh my god. Oh, excuse me, what happened? Me and Evelyn are over. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Like, I am flustered. Are you okay? I will be. I'm so sorry. That's not your fault. Don't worry, Matt. You're a good friend. I just- Do you want me to post some obscenities on her wall or something? <laughs> I'd rather you left it alone. We don't need it to sink to that level. Okay, but if you change your mind, just let me know. I've got some choice words locked and loaded. If you told her how you felt, then she would again play the victim. Like, this girl is- this is the type of girl that never, ever, ever can be wrong. I got some choice words locked and loaded. Yeah, well, that's truly terrifying. That's just scary, Matt. Scary. Homewrecker! Dick Baggle! That's just to name a few. Well, those are words, Matt. I mean, I know that I cheered you up after your breakup, and you're certainly cheering me up after mine. I do wish that we didn't end on such a negative note, but she gave me no choice. She was basically calling me... She was calling me possessive. I am not. It drove me nuts. So, like, what happened? What did Evelyn say? That she needs some time alone. Confused about what? Me. Our relationship. She don't like me no more. So her answer was to be alone instead of talking to you? And because of that, she wanted to break up? You know what? It doesn't matter. It's over. That's the end of it. I don't want to, like, she made me so mad, but I don't want to slander her. And I don't want you to slander her either. But surely the reason why it's over matters? I didn't mess this up. Nope. Assuming it makes any sense. Wait, why am I blaming myself? It must make sense to her somehow. I'm going through a phase right now where I'm blaming myself even though I feel like she was being unfair to me. And it kind of reminds me of when Evelyn said like, what if I led on Matt? Like, what if it's my fault that he might have feelings for me? I know she has it in her to to take some sort of blame. I just wish she did it in the heat of the moment. Can I ask a maybe not okay question? It depends what it is, Matt. Does this have anything to do with Steve? Thank you. Matt, so I'm not crazy for thinking that. Hey, Eva. Oh, Steve. Hey, Eva, is everything okay? Text me when you see this. Why don't? Why not just text her? Why write her on her wall where I can see it? So you think she broke up with you to date someone else? I don't know. Well, among, among other reasons, but yeah. I think it was a lot of things. I don't like how she reduced it to, so I can't have friends? Like, that's the only, that's the reason why I lost my mind. Yeah, it hurts, Matt. It hurts a lot, so can we, like, move on? You don't think she, like, cheated on you, right? I don't want to give anybody that kind of information about Evelyn, just because even though I'm so mad at her right now, I don't want people to, I don't want people, like, I hate when people break up and they give everybody the tea about the breakup. That being said, Matt is my best friend, but Emily has shed doubt on him before. So I'm gonna say I don't think so. I don't know for sure, but I don't think so. Even though the answer is yes, I do think she cheated on me because emotional cheating is still cheating. Well, that's a relief at least. But if she had, oh man, the choice words I would have for her. Oh, you have more words? You and your words, Matt. We, okay. I don't wanna hear about it, Matt. <laughs> that one's too far. Hey, uh, do you mind if I get semi-serious for a second? I'll allow it. I know it might not feel like this now, but if Evelyn does have feelings for someone else, I think this is the best possible outcome. How do you figure that, Matt? I agree with what you're saying. Because I know you and Evelyn already talked about Steve, and nothing really changed. But like, I'm not sure how things could have gone better. I'm not gonna say I could have forbid Steve because I'm not that guy. I should have just seen this coming and ended things even sooner. I should have, but I dropped it. But then you would be pushing Evelyn right into Steve's arms and probably come off as a jerk to everyone she knows. She's in his arms now anyways. Like, if if she's happier with him sooner, then that's the way it should have went. I care about her, right? So, like, if she wants to be with him, she should. But you couldn't have known this would happen. There were signs. Yeah, there were signs. All I'm saying is, you chose to trust Evelyn and have faith in your relationship. That means something. Oh. My. Goodness. Earlier when I was trying to like pep talk, this whole thing just came full circle. Because I was like, listen, it's not your fault that you trusted Travis when he was super possessive. Because it's not a bad thing to have faith in the relationship. That's just you being naive. And the same thing just happened to me. I was just being really naive. That's crazy. No, it means you're a trusting good person. It's so funny because Matt is on the side that I'm usually on when I'm talking to people after they get broken up and after they get treated badly. Evelyn didn't deserve you. Thanks, Matt. 
Hey, so remember when Kelly dumped me super hard last year? How could I forget? I made this music playlist that really helped me get through it. Can I send it to you? No offense, but no thanks. <laughs> but the, the talk you gave me was the nicest thing ever. Don't worry. It's not sad. It's the exact opposite. Oh my goodness. This is all just sandstorm. Okay, this is fantastic. You truly have become a man of culture. I know. God bless you two. I'm just hoping it makes your night a little better. I'm just, like, I'm literally feeling numb right now. So do you want to get together and chill tonight? Play video games or something? Wait, I thought you were seeing Anna. Oh no, Matt's a better person than I am. I didn't ditch Evelyn for him when he needed me, and he's- Oh! If you're sure it's okay. Emily Singer, as we go on, we, we remember. I wonder if I can, like, hook up with Emily soon, because I think she was right to be so mad at Evelyn. Thanks for being a good friend, Matt. This has come full circle in so many ways. Deuces. Hey. Emily. Hey, Cassie. This is like super random, but me and Kelly are gonna throw a senior summer party thing, and we were wondering if you and Matt would want to come. Oh, me and my boy? Of course. I'll ask Matt. Cool beans. I'll send you an invite. Oh, cool beans to you too, Emily. Hope to see you there. Did you check my status and see that I'm single? Now you're inviting me out? Same to you. Emily invited me to an event, and this time instead of saying maybe, I'm attending, baby. I'm getting out there, and I'm starting my new life. High school is over. My high school flings are over. I'm ending this chapter. Get me out of here. Holy crap, that killed me! It was so beautifully written because it came full circle in so many ways. Like, I thought I was doing the right thing by staying loyal to Evelyn no matter what. Like, I never dished her for anything. And when I was suspicious about Steve, I let it go. Which is something that in real life I would never do, but I did it just to be the bigger person and just because she was being so manipulative and I didn't have an option that I would have said. Just the fact that Matt was the friend that I wasn't in my time of need, and also that I ended up being on the receiving end of a bad relationship. Of course, it wasn't as bad as Travis. It wasn't as bad as what Travis did. Like, it doesn't mean that it didn't hurt. I don't know. It was just, it was gut-wrenching. I was, I was emotionally devastated when I was going to the breakup to the point where like my face and my feelings started doing things that I do in real life where I just started going like, no, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Just dump me. Just dump me. Like I actually started like turtling like I do in real life. That's crazy. That's just insane. Well guys, that was Emily is away. I hope that you enjoyed it. Wow, this was a long video. It was an emotional roller coaster. I can't believe it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Bye.